Hello, good morning, dear students. So now, in the previous video, we have studied about the various the the parts of the antibiotic antibiotics we have studied. That is uh, how the microorganisms are useful in the industrial products. So now, briefly, what we have observing that what we have studied in the earlier class that is the acidic substances we have studied, bioactive molecules we have studied, and the enzymes means. Microorganisms are also involved in the production of enzymes. Microorganisms are also involved in the production of the acidic substances. They are also involved in the production of the bioactive molecules. Citric acid we have studied. I am revising that what we have studied earlier class. Citric acid is there. Acetic acid is there. Then butyric acid. Then lactic acid. These are the acidic substances. Microbes in which it is going to be used. Aspergillus niger, Acetobacter sp. Clostridium, Utilicum, and Lactobacillus. These are the microorganisms. Among this, Aspergillus niger is the only fungus. Rest all the microorganisms are bacteria. So these are all what we have studied. This is important, and you have to by heart it at least because several times asked in the examination, both theory as well as seed. Next is bioactive molecules. You have studied that activation of the certain cells which may take place in the body. So that the action is supposed to be occurring. Cytosporin A. This is a bioactive molecule. The fungus it is going to be used here is Trichoderma polysporum. And similarly, statin, another bioactive molecule which is necessary for the preparation of. This is also normally considered the fungus. Statin is a bioactive molecule. The fungus name is Monastus purpureus. Trichoderma polysporum, cyclosporin A, acting as immunosuppressive agent. What we have discussed in the earlier class, immunosuppressive agent means immune system may be suppressed. Why it has been suppressed the immune system? It is because of that during the transplantation of the organ, organ transplantation of the like kidney or the heart, our immune system will not allow to enter foreign material. So because of this, if they are not allowed, this transplantation is not possible. That is why for few hours, so immune system is going to be suppressed. That is why cyclosporin is going to be useful. Then next we can see that statin, that is blood cholesterol lowering agent. Blood cholesterol lowering agent means it is responsible for mainly inhibiting the enzyme, which is essential for the high of the blood cholesterol. या वैसा ब्लड कोलेस्ट्रॉल हाई पार्ट कर रहे हैं अदर ना लो पार्ट कड़ी पार्ट से हम आगे सो भी आर यूजिंग द स्टार्टिंग स्टार्टिंग और डिवाइन द साइक्लोस्पोरिन ने इस आर द बायोएक्टिव मॉलिक्यूल्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट सर्टेन एंजाइम्स आर आल्सो देयर इट इज गोइंग टू बी प्रिपेयर्ड फ्रॉम द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स दे आर द प्रोटीनेजेस पेक्टिनेजेस प्रोटीनेजेस एंड द पेक्टिनेजेस पेक्टिनेजेस दीस आर द एंजाइम्स व्हिच आर नॉर्मली रिस्पांसिबल फॉर टू क्लियर द बॉटल फूड जूसेस That what we have studied earlier. Lipase is an enzyme responsible for the remove the oily stains. So where it is going to be used? Specifically, it is going to be used in the detergents. Lipase. Streptokinase is an important enzyme. Normally, streptococcus and those bacteria. Based on that, it is going to prepare the streptokinase. This is an enzyme normally acting as clot buster. Clot buster, and then. It is helpful for to remove the clot. Andre, in the blood vessel, suppose clotting occurs. Whenever clotting occurs, so that what will happen? Cardiac arrest may also take place. That is what we are saying that normally myocardial infarction. Previously we have studied that in the first year we have studied the heart, angina pectoris, severe injury, pain occurs. Chest pain is going to be taking place. Severe chest pain is because of that. Heart is not uh, getting sufficient amount of oxygenated blood. Why? Because various factors are there. Among the one is normal blood clotting. In the other, you can observe that suppose clotting occurs, blood is supposed to be clotted, means so normally heart is not receiving the blood. At that moment, when the clotting occurs, so automatically they are giving the chemical substance or introducing the chemical substance. Into the patient body, it is streptokinase, so that clotting has to be removed. In that way, what we have studied in the earlier class, all these are important. We have to practice. 
exam only compulsory questions based on this it is going to be asked very easy but only you have to practice right so now today fourth video we are going to study the next part that is the microns in sewage treatment so we are going to observe that next part that is the microns in sewage treatment fourth video microbes in next we are observing that microbes in sewage treatment microbes in sewage treatment microbes in sewage treatment so now this is a very important part you can see that in the nature also the microorganisms like in the rivers ponds pools you can observe that the certain naturally occurring organisms are going to be found here these are concerned with the microorganisms these microorganisms normally they are preventing certain kind of pollution certain kind of pollution they are going to be controlled but beyond that it is not possible to control so these are naturally occurring microorganisms which are existing in the water body so that they are normally controlling the certain kind of pollution so now here we have also that first the meaning of the sewage sewage means what sewage is nothing but the municipal waste water sewage is nothing but the municipal waste water municipal waste water it is may including the domestic water also there whatever the water we are normally sending outside from the household products that is it may be from the kitchen it may be bathroom or the latrine that water is supposed to be collected and now this is what we are observing it as a municipal waste water municipal waste water is considering it as a sewage so now usually what it comprises either a layer of the other organic matter organic matter it consisting of organic matter and mainly the even pathogens 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 are harmful microorganisms harmful microorganisms are also going to be found sewage water and other water waste water we can observe that so in general what we are going to observe is suppose from your house in all the sound of the waste particles are being sent out through the canal and it is going to be connected to the chamber which is present outside the house for this is from your house neighboring house is also there so that collection of entire area the waste products are being sent toward the outskirts of the city so what actually happening is this kind of waste water now what usually we are living in the water bodies like streams ponds pools rivers directly we are going to living so what actually happening pollution in the water which is going to be taking place if you are releasing more and more amount of the sewage water into the rivers and streams then the water is getting polluted for the sake of that sewage treatment is here normally we have to treat the water before leaving into the water bodies the main aim of this is we have to treat the sewage water before leaving into the water bodies oda ig nadinalle kodtare athwa now we can see that ponds pools whatever it is going to be there near by that they are going to be connected so ultimately what will happen enormous amount of the waste particles have been entered into the water bodies so this is going to be getting disturbed in the living organisms which is existing in the rivers so because of that we have to save the environment so we have to first treat the water that is why for constructing the sewage treatment plants sewage treatment plants sewage treatment plants ಈಗ ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಯು ಸಿ ದಟ್ ಮೆಟ್ರೋ ಪಾರ್ಟನ್ ಸಿಟೀಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಎಂಟ್ರಿಂಗ್ ದ ಸಿಟಿ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಇಮಿಡಿಯೇಟ್ಲಿ ಸೀವೇಜ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ಸ್ ವೈ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ಆರ್ಮಸ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವಾಟರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ನಾವೇನ
the sewage water is going to be found. If this sewage water, if it is ultimately reached to the river means, then it is dangerous to the living organisms. In the what actually happens here, you can observe that if the entire sewage water is supposed to be dumped in the river. So, in the river, you know that dissolved oxygen is there. What the sewage water is consisting of? Sewage water is consisting of organic matter and the pathogens. And the microbes, microorganisms are there. These are harmful to us. These microorganisms, when it is entering the sewage water directly, they are dumped in the river, which then what will happen? The river water consisting of dissolved oxygen. All the dissolved oxygen has been consumed by the pathogens. If they have consumed means, why because normally for the sake of oxidation of the organic matter, for the sake of oxidation of organic matter, they need oxygen. Hingagi, whatever the dissolved oxygen is there, it has been consumed. When they have consumed means, then availability of oxygen is less. That is what we are going to be called as the demand of oxygen which may take place in the water body. So we can call as one more word is BOD in the world. BOD is nothing but biological, biological oxygen demand. Biological oxygen demand. Biological oxygen demand. As we have discussed here, you can observe that if enormous amount of the sewage waste without treating, if you are not leaving it to the river or the streams, the river or the streams, it may come, they may consist of enormous amount of the living organisms like fishes and all those things. And they are normally giving sufficient amount of dissolved oxygen also. Sewage water is there. Sewage water, whatever they want to do, enormous amount of microbial activity takes place. These microbes start consuming the dissolved oxygen. Again, for the sake of digestion of this organic matter, oxidation has to be taking place. The oxidation of other oxygen is supposed to be required. So immediately they start consuming the dissolved oxygen. So what will happen? There is a need of oxygen in the water body. That is what we can call as biological oxygen demand. If BOD is high, if the BOD is high, then we can call it as water is polluted than that. If the BOD is high, BOD high high to the water is polluted. If the BOD is less, then water is less polluted with Water is less polluted. Follow this meaning of the BOD. BOD you can observe that the biological oxygen demand. What do you mean by this biological oxygen demand or biochemical oxygen demand? Read on. Biological oxygen demand is also there or biochemical oxygen demand. So now, even we are observing that the whenever we are normally treating the water, frequently we have to test the BOD. So now, biochemical antukaritare, just you want to remember that biological oxygen demand or the biochemical oxygen demand that is BOD. If the BOD is high, then water is polluted. BOD is less, water is less polluted. Why the BOD is increases? Why the BOD is increases? There is a demand of oxygen is supposed to be taking place in the river. Demand air high to because of the sewage waste. When the sewage water enters inside, oxygen has to be consumed. If the oxygen has to be consumed, for what purpose? Oxidation of the organic matter. Then what will happen? There is a need of oxygen to the living organisms. Hence, always we have to check the BOD of the water. Yes, there is a BOD. BOD, how much it is supposed to be required is just we have to observe that the around 1500 mg per liter of water. This much BOD is there, then water is normally less polluted on the earth. It is less polluted or even pollution is not there. Means it is supposed to be controlled. As earlier I told you, 
certain amount of pollution is to be controlled by microorganisms naturally like that here 1500 mg per liter if it is there then it is less polluted suppose around 1500 to 4000 mg per liter if it is there then it is polluted so here biological oxygen demand on the road, biochemical oxygen demand on the road. your textbook it has been given biochemical oxygen demand just to not observe that Andre, if BOD is high water is polluted BOD is less water is less polluted and that just uh, have given approximately you can observe that 1500 mg less polluted 1500 to 4000 mg 6000 mg mg per liter is highly polluted so like this Right, now it has been introduced all those things. Now we are going to start about the organic matter that what we have observed on simple waste. So, what will happen here if you are normally leaving the sewage water into the rivers or the streams? Then the people who are living there, they are drinking the water. Ultimately, they are getting the water for diseases. To avoid that one, before leaving into the water bodies, we have to treat the sewage water with the help of sewage treatment plants. STP is the correct Followed to avoid the diseases. Right. Municipal waste water under the water. Municipal waste water under the organic matter and the pathogens are going to be found. Right. Even path organic matter that includes water also. Normal amount of water is also there. Right. Next is now this what we have tried here STP is the sewage treatment plant. Now we are going to start about the treatment of the sewage waste materials that is municipal waste water has to be treating. And now the later on we are normally living into the rivers or the streams. Right. First one. Number one, you can observe that the Sewage waste is getting treated by means of two processes. Waste water on the error process is now filtration model. It is going to be filtered or treatment has to be taken place in two ways. Number one, physical treatment. Number one, physical treatment. Number two, biological or secondary treatment. Physical treatment or biological treatment. Biological treatment. Biological treatment. In other words, we are saying that physical treatment is also called as primary treatment. Primary treatment. And biological treatment is also called as secondary treatment. Secondary treatment. Right? Sewage treatment is supposed to be taking place in two ways. A treatment like after filtration of water how it is to take place in two ways. One is the physical treatment or primary treatment, secondary treatment or biological treatment. Both means one and the same. Now, as we have observed here, first we are going to the physical treatment. How the physical treatment is supposed to take place? Very simple one, we can observe that physical treatment only. Now we have to treat the sewage water mechanically. Mechanically, we have to treat the sewage water. Biological treatment or secondary treatment means here microbial activity begins. In their difference. In mechanical filtration, it is our treatment which may take place. Here, microbial activity is supposed to be taken place. Now, physical treatment. Physical treatment means here we have to observe that removal of large and small particles removal of large and small particles removal of large and small particles by means of by means of two ways that is filtration and sedimentation sedimentation Even at the physical level, just you want to observe that the physical treatment or primary treatment 
it is a normally mechanical treatment also we can call as here removal of large and small particles which may take place removal of large and small particles which may take place by means of two ways that is filtration and sedimentation by means of two ways that is the filtration and the sedimentation we have to think of that this is one tank this is one tank now in this tank you can observe that e tank only normal amount of the sewage water is going to be there in the sewage water is in this sewage water now on the upper part you can observe that various materials are going to be formed these are called as floating materials these are called as floating materials then next is below that you can observe that small stones or pebbles are going to be settled like this example i am giving you that this is one tank in this tank sewage water is there now we are going to start the filtration process yav filtration martha idu physical filtration is going to be taking place athava physical treatment is going to be taking place ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಏನೇನಿವೆ ವಾಟರ್ ಸೇವೇಜ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಲಡೈಡ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ ಮ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಮೈಕ್ರೋ ಆರ್ಗನಿಸಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಅಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಟ್ ಅದರ ಜೊತೆಗೆ ನೌ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ದಿ ಸರ್ಟೇನ್ ಅಮೌಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಫ್ಲೋಟಿಂಗ್ ಮಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಯು ನೋ ದಿ ಯಾವದೇ ಒಂದು ನೀರು ಇಟ್ಟು ಕೂಡ ಮ್ಯಾಲ್ ಫ್ಲೋಟಿಂಗ್ ಮಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಒಳಗಡೆ ಏನಾದರೂ ಇರಬಹುದು ಅಲ್ಗಲ್ ಮಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಇದೆ ಸಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಪ್ಲಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಇದೆ ಸಮ್ ಟೈಮ್ಸ್ ಈವನ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಮಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಮೇ ಬಿ ಇದೆ ದಿಸ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲಿ ಫ್ಲೋಟಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ರೀಜನ್ ಡೆಡ್ ಆಗಿದ್ದ ಕೆಲವೊಂದು ಏನಾಗುತ್ತೆ ದೇ ಆರ್ ನಾರ್ಮಲ್ ಫ್ಲೋಟಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ರೀಜನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅದರ ಜೊತೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಪಾರ್ಟಿಕಲ್ಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇವಾಗ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ದಟ್ ದಿ ಸ್ಟೋನ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಸ್ಟೋನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಪೆಬಲ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ದಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಸೆಟಲ್ಡ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಕೆಳಗಡೆ ಸೆಟಲ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಸೊ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟನ್ಸಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ರಿಮೂವ್ ಫಿಸಿಕಲಿ ನಾವು ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ದಟ್ ದಿ small and large particles by means of two ways that is filtration and sedimentation filtration means you can see that here in the filtration process now floating debris are going to be removed filtrationally now here we have to observe that the floating debris athwa floating part neerin mele yen telta irutave avanella thegidu by means of filtration how it is happening when they select it that's what we are observing that here sequential filtration here sequential filtration which may take place follow the law so now filtration you can observe that the large and small particles are going to be removed mechanically no microbial activity the filtration and the floating parts are going to be removed floating parts nearing there all the floating parts has to be removed the floating parts once only it is not possible one day so like all over again so that what is going to happen in sequential filtration step by step we have to remove this that is called as sequential filtration so this is normally removing by means of sequential filtration sequential filtration that is step by step this is the part filtration part is over after removing the floating parts now grits or small stones or pebbles has to be removed by means of sedimentation sedimentation and the settled part and now the give melted so that is what we are observing that the sedimentation the filtration only floating parts the sedimentation only settled part like stones and all those things it is going to be removed so physical treatment is normally taking place in two ways filtration where floating parts has to be removed by means of sequential filtration and next level is sedimentation it is always immediately lower part settled part has to be removed that is the sedimentation for all of you if we have removed all those things ella other mele that what we are observing that the clear water is ನೀರಷ್ಟೇ ಕಾಣಿಸ್ತದೆ ದ ಕ್ಲಿಯರ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಈಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಫೌಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ಆಸ್ ಸೂಪರ್ ನಟನ್ 
or even we can consider it as effluent. So this primary sludge, primary sludge, now we can observe that after filtration, filtration normally, and then small and large particles have been removed. All that is done. Small and large particles are removed. He can only do organic matter and the water. Only that one will be remained. That is still there. So for that purpose, this is called as primary sludge. This is called as primary sludge. So now, followed along with this, very simple physical treatment, or also called as primary treatment. Primary treatment means that the removal of large and small particles. The two matu sand particles remove one of them. How they do remove? How we are removing by means of two ways: filtration, sedimentation. Filtration means that the floating debris, whatever the floating parts are there, it has been removed. Removed. Later on. How we are going to remove the floating parts by means of sequential filtration. The next is later on sedimentation. Small stones are the grits. It is going to be removed. Here we are going to remove floating parts. Here we are going to remove stones. Stones are going to be removed by means of sedimentation. Floating parts are going to be removed normally. Removing by means of sequential filtration. This is the physical treatment. After removal of floating parts and the sedimented part, this effluent is also called as superlatent. And the product, this effluent is also considered as a superlatent. And then, either a layer is the organic matter and water. This is called as primary sludge. The filtered substance or the material which is left after primary treatment is called as primary sludge. Follow. Now we are moving towards the secondary treatment. Now we are observing regarding the secondary treatment. Already it has been written there. It is also considered as it is also considered as biological treatment. Secondary treatment is also called as biological treatment. Okay now we are heading. I will write secondary treatment. Secondary treatment. We are normally observing the secondary treatment. In the secondary treatment, we can observe that here. Here. This is the. This is what we are observing that primary sludge. This is what we are observing that the primary sludge. Primary sludge. How we are normally getting the primary sludge after the primary treatment or physical treatment? Primary sludge is going to be formed. Either a bottle gade, either a primary sludge bottle gade, organic matter and the water. Remaining parts we have removed. Now next is secondary treatment. This primary sludge, this primary sludge is normally leaving into the another tank. The primary sludge is not. इन दो टैंक नली ना हाँ बो प्राइमरी स्लाइड चुना इन दो टैंक नली ना हाँ दिस टैंक इज नॉर्मली एरेटेड एरेटेड टैंक सो इफ प्राइमरी स्लाइड जिगे ना तो ना सुपर नटेंड और द एफ्लुएंट द एफ्लुएंट इज नोट बी एडेड टू द अनदर टैंक राइट हियर क्लियरली सो नाउ वी आर एडिंग इन टू द टैंक दिस इज अंदर है एरेटेड टैंक के अंदर नाउ वी कैन अब्सर्व दैट दी सफिशिएंट अमाउंट ऑफ द ऑक्सीजन इज सपोज्ड टू बी देयर इट इज एरेटेड टैंक ओपन आई वुड डू सो व्हाट वी हैव वन दिस इज द व्हाट वी आर कंसीडरिंग इट एज अ सुपर नटेंड और द एफ्लुएंट और इवन कंसीडर्ड एज अ प्राइमरी स्विच वी आर नाउ लिविंग फॉर द माइक्रोबियल एक्टिविटी ई गो व्हेन वी आर लिविंग इन टू द एरोबिक कंडीशन ई एरोबिक कंडीशन में आके जाना So mechanically you can observe that we have to pump the air. Mechanically we have to pump the air. Air is the result of the just the pump on. Why? Because aerobic bacteria has to be grown here. E part only. First, what is going to be observed that we 
normal amount of aerobic bacteria has to be grown in this time. So what here aerobic bacteria has to be generated. This kind of microorganisms it may consisting of fungal filaments, it may consisting of protozoans, bacteria, all those they are going to be found in this region. So different kinds of microorganisms they are aerobic which are existing in the aerated tank. Either what is the main function of that? To digest the organic matter. The main important function is to digest the organic matter. So once the digestion is going to be taking place, digestion of the organic matter it is going to be observed. Follow. This is the aerobic pattern. Next is the second one we have to observe that next tank is the superlatent or the primary sludge is normally sent to the next tank which may consisting of aerobic bacteria. For the sake of sufficient amount of aerobic bacteria, we have to pump enormous amount of the air also. And then multiplication of the bacteria which may take place more. Next is, after treating that in biological treatment begins. Now what it is going to be occurring? Aerobic bacteria starts oxidizing the organic matter. Once they start the oxygen that is the organic matter. Organic matter complete time break down automatically what will happen here? BOD is supposed to be start decreasing. The water is supposed to be less polluting than that. BOD is supposed to be normally BOD and BOD means what? Biochemical oxygen demand. Here you can observe that the bottle to biochemical oxygen demand is high. But here start reducing. Why it start reducing? Because oxidation process is going to take place. All the organic matter and the consume partly started. Whenever they start digesting, you can observe that water is purifying. In other words, we are saying that water is purifying. So, in this tank, from this tank, you can observe that regularly we have to check the BOD. Regularly we have to check the BOD. Then the next, once the BOD is reduced completely, we have to normally send it to the another tank. So before leaving it to another tank, one or two words that is going to be found here, definitions are going to be asked in the examination. That is the our definition of the flaws of the word. What do you mean by the term flocks? Flocks only, as we have discussed here, enormous amount of the aerobic bacteria has to be generated in the earth. So this enormous amount of the aerobic bacteria, which consisting of mass of bacteria and fungal filaments, even bacteria and fungal filaments which are associated, so that they are forming it as a net-like or mesh-like structures. This is called as flocks. Flocks in the enormous amount of the microorganisms, the mass of microorganisms, which consisting of bacteria as well as fungal filaments, and they are normally forming a mesh-like structure or network-like structure. They are called as flocks. This is the fungal filament, thread-like structure. This is the bacteria can absorb that, so that they are going to form a network-like structure or mesh-like structure, this is going to be called as flocks of the creek. This is one more question. So, all in this, this word we have to keep in mind. Right. Next is, flocks we observed here. Flocks in now observed too in the aerobic tank. Now, next is, after oxidation of organic matter, oxidation complete like I to the now we can observe that microorganisms soil are so so that what will happen here? You can rest to the way. So that what we have to observe it. This is the tank. This is called as settling tank in the green. This is called as settling tank. This settling tank great. After oxidation, the microorganisms are normally sent to the other tank. That is called as Settling tank and the microorganism starts settled down. I can see sea wave water moving, sea wave organic material, so that the microorganism starts 
settling. So in Lella Sankla, this is called as settling tank. This is the only water what is going to be formed. These are the pathogens, they are going to be existed at the lower part. Settling tank. So we have to allow the microorganisms to settle down. Next is, this is also called as activated sludge. This is also called as activated sludge. Why it is called as activated sludge? Sufficient amount of the bacteria, fungal filaments, protozoans are existing here. The kagi activated sludge in the kagi. The next one important. This is called as activated sludge. Yau the case settling tanki activated sludge in the kagi. Right. Now they are already settled down. Next is after this we can observe that. It has to be. If now we want to say that these microorganisms are not together, these should, these are harmful. Matra, very good, but the matra oxygen full don't know about. That is why we have to observe that here. Next is we have to leave this kind of microorganisms into the another tank. This tank is completely closed. This tank is completely closed. So that's not important. This tank is completely closed. In one another one, we have to leave the water into the next tank. In no other different way. So that what will happen here? The tank will be there with microorganisms which are aerobic plus water. It is they are going to be found in this tank. So now next thing. This is completely anaerobic. Aerobic, like anaerobic. This is anaerobic. And aerobic. And the oxygen free. Oxygen in. Just we have to observe that this is the tank. Next is here. Whenever we are living in this condition, anaerobic bacteria starts generating or multiplying. Close like that. Close other than that, anaerobic bacteria starts generating. When the anaerobic bacteria starts generating. They start consuming the aerobic bacteria. If the other day aerobic bacteria already they have collected organic matter. So this anaerobic bacteria start generating. And now they start consuming the aerobic bacteria. Follow. They start consuming the aerobic bacteria. All the aerobic bacteria consume organic matter. So during the time of digestion, the last digestion part of it. Then during the time of digestion, normally they are releasing certain gas. Now we have gas in there. Normally H2S, hydrogen sulfide, methane gas, and carbon gas. This methane gas is normally useful for preparation of biogas. Methane gas. So that's one important. Other than that, methane gas is not used much. This is very important. यह तो कहेंगे तो ये एनारोबिक बैक्टीरिया स्टार्स कंज्यूमिंग द एरोब बैक्टीरिया एस ए बाय प्रोडक्ट एस ए बाय प्रोडक्ट दे आर रिलीजिंग सर्टेन गैसेस दे आर द हाइड्रोजन सल्फाइड बीथेन एंड द कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड सो दिस टैंक इज नॉर्मली कंसर्न्ड एस एन एनारोबिक स्लज डाइजेस्टर एनारोबिक स्लज So this is aerobic. That is anaerobic. Primary sludge is the physical form of the primary treatment. Secondary treatment last is the anaerobic sludge digestion. Sludge is the sludge is the solid part. Here you can observe that anaerobic sludge digestion. That is it. Follow last one. Ultimately, after digestion of this, normally the anaerobic bacteria. Start releasing a byproduct in the form of gas. That is methane, carbon dioxide, H2S, hydrogen sulfide. The methane is supposed to be useful in the preparation of biogas. After completion of this, the gas release of the now water is purified. Afterwards, we have to leave out into the EVL protocol in the rivers, then streams, etc. River, streams, pond, pools. Now it is ready to live out. Ega, you are ready to live. Ready? Just we have to observe this thing.
we have to let it to the liver. Third of you, after treatment, we have to leave it. So because of this, we can observe that. Now, nowadays, Ministry of Environment and Forest. Ministry of Environment. Ministry of Environment and Forest. Ministry of Environment and Forest. They have decided, Ministry of Environment and Forest, we can observe that. They have decided to prepare certain sewage treatment plants. To construct sewage treatment plants in the major rivers. Or major rivers are Ganga and Yamuna. Ministry of Environment and Forest. They created or established new sewage treatment plants and they have taken the action to clean the Ganga River as well as Yamuna River. That's what we are observing that Ganga Action Plan and Yamuna Action Plan. We, have, we are observing that Ganga Action Plan and the Yamuna Action Plan that what we are going to observe. So in this way, whatever the treatment has to be taking place, present situation, now, we have to, right? especially the government has to be created in such a manner that before leaving it to the water bodies, they have to treat the water. They have to inform the industries, industrialists also we can observe that enormous amount of the harmful substances are leasing in the water. So that this is going to be not only creating more pollution in the water bodies. So because of that threatening to the aquatic environment. So many normal organisms are not able to survive. So because of this condition, the government has to make a strict action against these things. Yalla waste water kuda, drink paade, so that what will happen? We are saving the environment. So in this way, today whatever we have discussed, we have to read out and next video only, I will repeat some of the points. In any points, we will note. Primary sewage defamation, primary sludge hanging out today, then anaerobic sludge digestion is what? Settling tank or the activated sludge is where it is taking place. What is BOD? What are flocks? BOD referring to the biochemical oxygen demand or biological oxygen demand. For all of you, read out once again. Followed. Very easy. Either I like more question, three more questions also they are going to be modeled. Earlier it has been asked that. Write a note on secondary treatment. Write a note on primary treatment is the two more questions. Only in sedimentation, filtration. Small and large particles has to be removed. Followed. Once again, in the next video, in the next video, first I will revise these definitions. Then we are moving toward the next class that is the in the part of the microbes in preparation of biogas plant. Followed on the next class we are going to the given tomorrow. We are now going to observe in the that is how the microorganisms are involved in the preparation of biogas. As to all the other ones of birth, you have to write down so that you are going to understand that how it is to be taking place. And the next class in for day, whenever you are sitting in front of the video, try to draw the diagram of biogas. The textbook it has given. This is the five mark question in the examination. This is why I am telling you. A diagram is perfect time for the video. Just you want to draw the diagram of the biogas plant. Then we are going to explain all those things. Okay? Have a nice day.